Ahoy there, mateys! I be Tiger Lee in this be pirate fashion. Today, I'm gonna go over how we make a custom hat. So when you order it, we make it just for you. We start out with a, a wool felt hat blank made from sheep, okay? Now, um, we're gonna make the standard Abel uh, semen for tricorn. And the first thing I do is I take my high pressure steam and I will actually steam the inside of the hat. And then I will take a hat block because for some reason, the hats that we get tend to be more round than oval and most people's heads are oval. So we will actually um, stretch it so a little bit so it becomes a bit more oval. So that's the first thing we do. That looks just like that. Now I'm gonna steam around the side. And actually, I'll go along the edge because there's sometimes there's these uh, marks along the hat when they are making it from a flat uh, blank that is the stretch marks. Now, when you order just a plain hat, we do not trim the edges because it makes it smaller. And most pirates we found like to have a, a larger hat. And they sort of like that sort of rugged look. Okay? But if you ordered one where we add the trim, then we'll actually clean it up and make it more tight. All right, so uh, once I figure, and the hat block, helps me align the hat. So I look for the larger side. And it's going to be here. And I'm just steaming one side. And I'm steaming the other side. And then I fold the hat. And the first time you, you know, I did it, I was not very good. But now that I've done hundreds of hats, I've gotten much better and faster. And because these are handmade and they're not made by some robotic machine with precision, everyone is going to be a little bit different. And now I'm steaming the back of the hat. So yeah, this, um, we have a really high pressure steam machine that really allows us to go much quicker than if you're using the old steam kettle method. And there's a big difference between the actual steamed hat and the most people that are making them, all they end up doing is, is uh, cocking the hat and then all your um, hats just sort of bowl and they look sort of lazy. Well, when you steam it and crease it, you get a much more defined hat that looks like it was actually made um, by a miller. Okay. So I'm gonna use steam all the edges on both the outside as well as the inside.
And this is pretty much how hats were actually made 200 years, so we still follow the same way of making hats. And now, I have the basic form, and now what I'm going to do is actually add the talking ribbons to it. Basically, punching the holes in. And the big thing is not to punch your fingers in the back. And we generally make the holes on the bottom a little bit wider. And you want to make them a certain width so that when you put your feathers in, they hold tightly. Many people end up making their cocking ribbons really tiny as they're trying to hide it. But really back then, they didn't do it that way. They did it mostly in bars and they did it wider because they were designed to carry feathers. Now people tend to pin them uh, because they didn't actually do the hat right the first way. Talking ribbon does not have to be black. Many people use them, but you know, I find that they help add to the decoration of the hat. But some people like them just all black so that they can wear any color outfit and not have to worry about color coordination. Pretty much it and I just do it on the three other sides and that you know these just have to be good enough to fit your feather right there. Alright? So when you're ready for your custom hat, come to Pirate Fashions.